Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chimmy Juliet, if you're new here. And I just want to say that it feels so awesome to be back making and publishing content for you all. It just feels amazing. So thank you all so much for your patience, your understanding, because sometimes we all need a break from social media. Like, we all need a break. And sometimes the break can get really long. I didn't actually expect that I'll be out for six months. I didn't know. But, you know, life happened. But we thank God for everything. So having said all that, let's dive right into the video. And just in case you haven't seen my previous video, I cut my hair yes i have cut my hair i finally did it after learning i had hair loss and hair thinning i carefully catered to my hair and nurtured it if you have been following me you have seen the progress that i've made and i just felt comfortable with this level of new growth and just thought you know what cutting is not so bad so i got my scissors and i chopped all the damage off just cut everything off okay so i would also like to refer to this like as my <laughs> second big chop some people may say it's not really a big chop because i didn't cut everything off my head but it's a big chop for me because this is the shortest i've gone in over seven years and this year is also 10 years of me being natural so it's just amazing how like everything just happened but yes I am happy, I am you know, comfortable with it and it's my hair, it's my journey but then I do also want to be able to share my experience to help you all or help anyone that may be going through the same thing just to give them that confidence you know, and also to help them know what's best in terms of hair care. Alright, so this video is my first wash day after my big chop and I wanted to share with you all. So right now I'm just, I'm just getting ready to pre-poo my hair, just prepping it. You know, it's also the first time I've seen my hair like this. So I'm just trying to get used to it in the whole video. I'm just, just I'm, you would catch me like trying to see my hair you know, at different points because it's like, it's new and it takes some getting used to because for me this is like awkward length stage and you know that's when you have the the most hang time so your hair is not short short and it's not long at all so it's just like hanging and yeah i'm just i'm gonna get used to it but just you'll catch me like sometimes just staring at the mirror just looking at my hair so right now i'm just using my diy hair growth oil find the full video on my channel it is two videos before this one and it's been awesome so i recommend you do try the recipe if you are wondering what it is and all i do is i just apply it all over my hair making sure i put it on my scalp and then i make sure that i massage it in just to get the blood circulation flowing to my scalp and also allow the nutrients to absorb and once i'm done massaging i just make sure that everything is in twists and then i put a shower cap over it and I steam my hair. It's very important that you steam your hair. Try to integrate steaming into your hair routine. It really changes the game. If you can afford a steamer, then you can get a heat cap. You could get a, a, yeah, a heat cap. And there's another one that's microwavable as well. So there are different types on Amazon. Just depends on your budget. But make sure that you incorporate some kind of heat to allow the nutrients to absorb into your hair. And, you know, doing a pre-shampoo treatment like this one using an oil or if you prefer a conditioner, you can use a conditioner as well. So the point is that it prevents high growth fatigue. So it prevents your hair shaft from getting weak, from constant swelling when you shampoo your hair. And it also prevents like, so much moisture from leaving your hair when you shampoo as well so that's why i never ever miss pre pooing and pre pooing is also when i detangle fully so i finger detangle completely when i do my pre-shampoo treatment so i don't have to detangle again and it just saves me a lot of time because i wash my hair in twist it also 
prevent my hair from tangling i hardly have single strand knots even if my hair is fussy and completely kinky curly i hardly have single strand knots because my always my hair is always in in clumps so it's like you know always in twists always in braids always together so it's hard for it to curl up around itself so yeah so just make sure you massage all that in there give you give yourself a good massage um this is obviously fast forward you don't have to be so it I, i'm not that aggressive but this is on fast forward but then give yourself a good massage make sure you massage for about 10 minutes and just enjoy the process take take it as some self-care time don't rush it if you don't have time then just set it for a time that you, you know you can just have 10 minutes to yourself and do it so yeah so once you're done pre pooing your hair is definitely ready to shampoo i kind of use a lot of oil that's why there's some on my neck so but you don't have to use that much please don't use that much just use a little and i'm just using this product to shampoo the this product is what i was using you know postpartum as well when i had terrible shedding and i started using it again last year when i found out that i had some hair loss and hair thinning so i just you know i went back to what works for me and my hair so that's what i'm using and it lathers really quickly and also cleanses my scalp it doesn't irritate my scalp because i've got sensitive skin and when you have sensitive skin it still applies to your scalp so i don't i try to use moisturizing shampoos that are not stripping so this one has a sort of um this one is more protein based but then it doesn't leave my hair feeling too hard it's just i don't know my hair just likes it it's really it's really good for my hair so um i only shampoo twice i try not to shampoo more than twice because when you do that it's just too much for me but if you feel your hair is really dirty then you can go ahead and shampoo three times but then i do advise that twice is absolutely fine so one thing that i've changed since i cut my hair is that i now take down my twists after shampooing to apply my conditioner i didn't used to do this before before i would just apply conditioner on top of the twists but then i just felt maybe some parts of my hair weren't getting enough nourishment so now i take down each twist each <laughs> twist again and reapply the conditioner then twist i know that this is this sounds like like a lot of work but then it takes me about 15 20 minutes max because my hair's already detangled so it's just like i'm just taking down twists putting the conditioner in and just moving breezing through and because my hair is shorter now i have to do more twists than i used to when my hair was longer so yeah <laughs> yes um, the reason why i'm doing this is because if my twists were bigger it would loosen with the weight of the water because my hair is shorter now and it will bulk up once the water hits it so i have to twist my hair smaller to be able to make sure that the twists stay when i begin to rinse so once i'm done untwisting applying the conditioner and retwisting again then i put my hair again in a shower cap and i make sure that i steam one more time so this time around i leave the conditioner in for 30 minutes under under a steam cap and allow it to just like soak up all the conditioner in to strengthen my hair so once i'm done with that I just rinse and i used a microfiber towel to remove the excess water this is a new microfiber towel so it left some stuff in my hair which i did not see but i'm just seeing right now because of <laughs> i'm able to see it while editing and just it all comes off it's just like the fiber from the towel yeah so it doesn't really matter everything comes off later so right now i am doing something brand new as well so i've been struggling with breakage for a while and i wanted to find out what the root cause was so i did a lot of research and i've tried a bunch of things so right now I've, i added a split end mender this one was one of the most fascinating products 
I have seen in the market. I don't know why it's not spoken of more, but I found it and I started using it and I will get back to you with the review. I'm, I'm not going to hype any product in this video. This video is basically just to show my wash day routine right now, but there is there are differences. I'm just going to leave it there that there are differences. So what I do is I apply the split and mender first and allow it to sit for one minute. So that's why I'm taking on the twist, apply it, and then I bantu knot my hair out of the way and then I move on to another twist. So I allow the split end serum to just stay in, you know, just to work its magic. And then I apply my moisturizer, leave-in conditioner, then moisturizer, the whole LCO method on my hair. And then I braid. So I learned because this works with my hair. I learned that my hair stays more detangled when I braid it than when I twist it. So even though I wash my hair weekly, you know, it just helps me keep it helps shorten time for detangling. So this is just like another tip I'm just throwing out there. So braids are better in terms of keeping your hair less tangled and if you're going to just be protective styling even if you're going to be wearing like you know wigs or any form of protective styles like head wraps and stuff and then braids are the way to go it keeps your hair parted neat and it does not tangle which is the best part so that's what i do there and i chose to maintain the parts of the twists to, to make the braids the oil that i used is oil that i made myself as well my diy mix another hair growth oil but this one is used for sealing and i also used something new <laughs> i think like this video is like a lot of new things in my routine so this is like my updated wash day routine for my fussy natural hair and I find this really soothing. So I used a hair serum. So this hair serum comes with the shampoo and conditioner that I showed you earlier. And it just feels amazing. It has this, because the main ingredient is aloe vera, it has this like soothing effect on my scalp. It just cools down everything, honestly. <laughs> and it feels amazing. So I think I've said that already. <laughs> yeah. So I just used that finally. You know, I just put it all over my hair and then I massage it again. So my, my hair gets a lot of TLC on wash days because I, I try to make time for it. Even if there's no time for anything these days, you have to make time for, for yourself in terms of just taking care of yourself in whichever way it is. If taking care of yourself involves reading books, then do that. If taking care of yourself is, 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 is working out do that just do what you need to do and don't say you don't have time do it because you know that 10 minutes that 30 minutes is going to go anyway so you might as well do you spend it on you know make time and spending on something that you actually like and enjoy doing so yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video i loved I loved making it. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave your thoughts and your, and your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to live well, live great, and pray always because God, because God loves you and God bless you. Take care, lovelies. Bye.